Hillies, this is Simsfell, and welcome back to the Kingdom of Sandusk in The Sims Medieval. When we left off in the previous episode, we wrapped up the Crab Bandit quest with our blacksmith journeyman smith fairy. That was a long title. Yes. So we wrapped that up and we are ready to open up a brand new quest, but this quest is going to be special and it's going to be special because it is going to be the last quest that we do for season two of The Sims Medieval. I hope you guys enjoy. Right, we need to go ahead and see what sort of quests we can do. For that, of course, we've got to check this out. So we have one knowledge available, three culture and two security. If we cannot find a quest that suits any of those categories, then we're going to have to use some of our resource points to establish a brand new hero. So let's go ahead and check the quests out. Is it me or did we just have a bunch of quests change? Wow, okay. We know we definitely can't do Rise of Playwright because that takes away security and I don't want to mess around with that. Uh, we have Brick of Brack Day, Evolution of Chinchilla, Family Crest, Meat Quest 4? Uh, Subprime Slaves, The Great Purge, The Legend of the Talking Frog. As we know, I have been enjoying quite a bit a lot of the Pirates and Nobles quests, so I'm curious in The Great Purge, but of course, before we do anything... Oh, no, 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 I am not doing that. I am not doing that. What about Subprime Slaves? Uh, we don't even have room for that, unfortunately. Meat Quest? Don't have room for that. Family Crest? Um, a family crest we do have room for. Oh wow! We don't have room in the, for the royal her uh, heraldry because that gives two knowledge and we only have one slot available. But we could do knightly heraldry, so with the knight. Because that gives us one security, as you can see we have two slots. And, oh no we can't do that either because it gives us two knowledge. Never mind. What about evolution of the chinchilla? Okay, we could do both of these. We could um, go with the blacksmith, secondary Peterin, or we could go with just the blacksmith. Huh. Interesting. So this gives us two security and one culture. Okay, and this gives us just two security. Okay, I think we're gonna do evolution of the chinchilla, everyone. We're gonna do it. The last quest for this season, Evolution of Chinchilla. Let's have a look and see what this is. A chinchilla was a chinchilla. At least that's what the common wisdom used to be, before the reports started flooding in of chinchillas that seemed impervious to harm. Hunters were in a bit of a panic as the weapons seemed to bounce right off these creatures' hides. What was going on in the forest? What had happened to these chinchillas? Someone would have to find out, no matter the danger. Okay, remind me if I'm wrong, but I think we've had a quest with chinchillas in the past. I don't know, I feel as though we might have had a quest in the past. We could do heavy metal or chinchilla of the watcher. So conventional swords don't seem to be doing it against these chinchillas. There's a simple solution for that. New, better swords. Chinchilla of the watcher. There may be a way to settle this situation with something other than swords and blood. A little faith, a little construction, a little careful construction, and who knows what solution we may craft to this chinchilla problem. I think I will go with um, the chinchilla of the Watcher. So we'll get to play with both the Peter and Priest um, and the blacksmith who we've just recently played with because it gives us more aspects. Now, of course, it gives us more RP as well to do this, but it gives us significantly less money. We only get, um, like we get 600 gold smells less. But I'm okay with that because RP is more important. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go ahead and start... Yeah. I mean we have so much RP left over. So much. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, put in Chinchilla of the Watcher. Yeah. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, here we go. I've always rather liked Chinchillas. Okay, so it says the secondary hero, and she still has the moustache. It says the secondary hero is um, the Peter and Priest, so I think we're going to use both of them. But in the past, we have had a quest with the knight that said we had the knight and the Jacobin Priest, but we never ended up playing with the Jacobin. So I don't know if it's the same thing or not, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Okay. Oh yes, it is, because Sister Flores is here. Nice. The watch has plans for these creatures, of course it does. 
Of course it does fluoresce. And look at that, everyone. Journeyman Smith Fairy and Sister Fluesa looked up at the woman in the doorway of the smithy. She was obviously a hunter and clearly looking for help. A large scratch ran down her arm. The chinchillas, she sighed, they've evolved. Fairy and Fluesa looked at each other, puzzled. The hunter continued, I'll return in a bit. I hope you can offer me some help. Fluesa nodded as she headed back to the monastery. She would start doing some research while Fairy waited for the hunter to return. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. So, uh, I feel as though this is the first, maybe second time we've actually played with two heroes. So I'm very, very excited. But, okay, let's see. We need to discuss chinchillas with the hunter and research chinchillas for two hours. I'm going to hop on over to Sister Floresta because I have not um, played with her in a long time. So, I want to see. Oh, she's at the tavern. Of course she is. Well, research chinchillas. Okay. A few hours of research may yield some knowledge on chinchillas and their relationship to the Watcher. I'm going to have Sister Floresa return to the monastery. And we are going to do some much needed research on this chinchilla business. While she's over doing that, because she does need to research for two hours, I will get... Um, I'll get um, Feyre to go and speak to whoever she needs to speak to. So, okay, we have returned to the monastery. Nice. Okay. Isn't it good to see the monastery again? I'm quite happy. But let's research chinchillas. So she's going to head on over, settle down in her little archive. Look at these bookshelves. This is very nice. Okay, wonderful. She's settling down and doing her own personal research. While she does that, we're going to hop over to Journeyman Smith Fairy. Discuss chinchillas with Hunter. I should talk to the hunter when she returns and find out more about these oddly resilient chinchillas. Discuss chinchillas with the hunter. Let's see what she has to say. And don't worry guys, um, Journeyman Smith Fairy will be getting her outfit changed or she'll be getting an improvement because we have completed a quest with her recently, meaning she has earned enough money to get a little bit of an upgrade. And plus, she's probably settled herself in Sandusk enough to not be paranoid about people finding out about her roots. Okay, it was the strangest thing. I've hunted in the forest before, but these chinchillas have never been a bother. Today they viciously attacked, and when I tried to fight back, it was as if my sword simply bounced off them. You can see for yourself if you want to. Take my sword and go find a chinchilla in the forest, but be careful. Why would you send the blacksmith into the forest? Also, Roke, I'm so sorry we haven't been able to play with you yet. We will, we will try and get to, but unfortunately it'll probably be season 3 before we even get to play with Roke. But that's okay, that's okay. Right, discuss, oh my goodness. Don't worry, we'll class everything up slowly but surely. It's not going to happen overnight. Okay, so it is quite late, 10 flippin' p.m., but we're going to be sending her into the forest. Investigate chinchillas in the forest. With this borrowed sword, I should take a look at these supposedly evolved chinchillas myself. It's time for a quick trip to the forest. A quick trip indeed. And hopefully she'll be okay. In the past, we have had our night to get absolutely thrashed by the creatures of the forest, which isn't exactly the most fun thing to do. Or the fun thing to go through. But luckily, now that we have a merchant, we can purchase health subs and all those sort of things. Okay, let's... Oh no, she's unfocused. Well, I guess we're heading back home. <laughs> Never mind, everyone, never mind. She's too unfocused, and I'm assuming she would die if she went into that situation. So, okay, preventative measures. We're going to send her, head her off, send her off to bed. And when she gets up in the morning, then we'll probably go and send her as soon as we are able to. So she's going to head off to bed. Sister Floessa, are you sleeping? Look at that, Floessa's already sleeping. Ugh. Well, I guess they're both really tired, and sleep is important for these ladies, so let's hop over to Floessa, because she should be waking up sooner, yep, an hour sooner than our blacksmith, but I love these two, they're so cool, they're so cool. Okay, and Floessa, in case you guys have forgotten, is our vain and eloquent priestess who is cruel and has only joined the Peterin monastery to hide the fact that she has such undesirable traits because she wants people to think that she is just the light of everyone's eyes and that everyone is blessed to have her in their lives. Pretty much the case. 
Okay, she needs to go eat. Does she have good food? Yes, she does. Thank goodness. Um, we'll have some turbot soup. Nice, she'll have that. And then as, as soon as she is done, we are going to get her, there we go, to continue researching the chinchillas. Yep, and I think our smith is okay to get up now. So she's going to get up as well, and she needs to have her breakfast. <sighs> okay, I'm really happy that we're not feeding everyone gruel anymore. And we definitely need to up <laughs> the area a little bit, mushroom soup, because she just I th yeah, the entitled trait means that she's not exactly happy with her surroundings currently. She, she wants an improvement, but don't worry. We'll be giving her an improvement pretty soon. Okay, nice. Oh, let's see. I've unearthed an unexpected recipe, an ancient concoction called chinchilla. Chinchilla or chinchilla? I don't know. May help me connect with the chinchilla if I can acquire the right ingredients and make myself some. One key is chillaweed, which I should be able to find in the local forest. Okay, well, both of them are done, and both of them are okay to head out into the forest. So it says, collect the chillaweed in the forest. I need to venture into the forest to collect some chillaweed, but I will need to be on my guard, as chinchillas love to munch on chillaweed. Okay, so let's send Genuine Smith Fairy to the forest, and we'll send Sister Floessa as well. So maybe it's a good thing they both waited, because they're both getting to go together. She's going to go there, and so is Sister Floessa. Nice. Are they both headed out? Yes, they are. They are indeed. Okay, so let's start sending them out, shall we? Oh, and looks like Sir Epi is here as well. That's fun. And so is the hunted Daisy and God Jenna. Okay, well, Floessa, let's... Oh, Feyre, what do you mean you're too unfocused? Oh my goodness, guys. We can't do anything with Feyre. She's just so unfocused. Okay, is gonna gather some chillaweed. My goodness, woman, my goodness. Why are you like this? I don't know, she just is. Okay, can we be uncouth with Daisy? Apparently we don't like Daisy. Um, oh geez, I mean we don't wanna be rude, but I do want, darn it. Let's make a joke, we're gonna make a joke. And we're going to discuss fine things. And I don't know if that's going to make it feel better. Hopefully it does. If that's not the case, then we're going to have to do some other things. Yes! Okay, she can investigate chinchillas. That made her really happy. Okay, cool, yes. That did make her happy. <laughs> With a dirty joke. And she is heading off into the forest so she can investigate the chinchillas. And let's see what the two of them find. And then after this, they do have other duties to uh, get to. What's this? Huh. Sister Flossa saw a traveling merchant lying along the mountain path. He appeared to be injured in some way and in need of assistance. As Floessa approached, the merchant weakly reached towards and mouthed the word, Help. Help. The pitiful merchant was clearly in need of medical attention. A few stools from Floessa's pack would do the trick. It wouldn't cost more than a few gold simults to replace. Opportunity. The merchant was clearly helpless and probably near death. Why waste good supplies on someone who was doomed? More importantly, why pass off free goods? There'll probably be just be salvaged by the next traveler anyways. Floresta could leave the merchant for dead and take anything of value. Now, she is cruel. Hmm. Here's the, the thing with Floresta, though, that I find a little bit difficult, I guess, or confusing, is that she is not really a good person, and she's not someone who would do something like help someone else. But... She wants to hide the fact that she is cruel and she has a dark side, and to do that, she's joined the monastery as a Peter and Priestess, right? And part of her kind of cover story, or part of the mask she's wearing, is doing good deeds. So, I don't know, would she give in to her cruel nature, or would she be paranoid about being found out and go to extreme lengths to help? Because I see her helping as being eloquent. And I see opportunity as having cruel. I don't know. So here's what I'm going to do. I have a dice. I am going to roll my dice. And if it is a one or a four, I'm going to uh, go with the bottom one. So she gives into her cruel nature. If it's any other one, any other number, then I'll say that she's still paranoid that someone might be watching. And she's going to try and be eloquent 
and go ahead and help. So let's roll the dice and see what we get. <gasps> I got a one. That means she gives into opportunity. Okay, she is quite wealthy though. Let's see what this was. Ignoring the pitiful murmurings of the merchant, Floessa collected everything of value from the merchant's camp and moved on. The camp had several items the merchant was planning to sell, as well as small coin purse. 15 myths roll and 100 simoleons. Oh my goodness, gold smalls. That is mean. But who knows, we might have gotten more things if we had helped him out. But she gave in to her cruel nature, I guess. I managed to secure enough chillaweed for my recipe. Now to get the rest of the ingredients and make that stew. Okay, what does she need? Cook an ancient chili. Once I've collected all the ingredients, I should brew and consume the stew. So I think we'll have to head back to see what she can do. But she does have duties she needs to complete as well. Pray for two hours. Spending some time in prayer today will help me get closer to the Watcher. And pray with two Peterans. The faithful look to me for guidance. If I can bring prayer to them first hand, their bond with the church will grow stronger. Okay, so I'll get her to pray right over here for two hours while we wait for... Um, favorite. Oh look, and she's coming back. And let's see what she has to say. I think praying in the forest, right here, right now, is going to be the appropriate thing to do for um, Floessa. What did you find? Oh, okay. Whoa, that looks scary. Journeyman Smith Fair wandered into the clearing with Hunter Daisy's words ringing in her ears. Almost immediately, she was set upon by the chinchillas. Journeyman Smith Fair swung her sword quickly and bravely, but as Hunter Daisy had foretold, it was useless. It glanced off the hides, the creatures, and journeyman Smith Fairy was forced to beat beat a quick retreat. Wow. Okay. Did you see that? Wait, did you see? I see they set upon you like the beasts they are. Was the sword not useless? We hunters need your help. Your best bet may be ringing, ringing some device to capture one of these creatures and seeing if we can calm it down. In the meantime, I will take back my sword. Okay. Well, before she gets that done... We actually need to do some of our duties for the day. And oh wow, she got a moderate bite. Wow. Well, I think we actually need to go to the market now. Yep, I think we need to head to the market because we have to go purchase some health salves if possible. So let's buy from the market stall. Sister Fluessa is praying for inspiration. She's got one hour left of that as soon as she's done. We'll get her to go back to the church. Okay, we have moderate health solve. We have quite a few funds. And that's all we have, it seems, today. Which is fine. We'll make do with it. Oh no! <sighs> How could you? How could you? Oh my goodness. Okay, luckily I think we can transfer different items across. Did she purchase the health solve? Yes, she did. Okay, nice. So, where is she? I'm going to get her to use this right now. Hopefully that makes it feel better. Oh, here we go. Yep, all over the face. <laughs> Does she feel better? Minor bite. Okay, so she feels a little bit better. It was a major bite before, so that did get improved, luckily. Okay, what does she need to do? She needs to pay taxes. I need to remember to pay my taxes at the messenger post and successfully mine three times. Mining, a net, mining the necessary materials for new swords and helms is an important part of the job. I need to get out there and gather some ore. Okay, well, luckily, you can pay your taxes right over here. Sister Floessa, you need to pray. Continue praying, woman. She still needs to pray for one hour, so she's going to go and... Go pray. Don't gather chillaweed. Go pray. There we go. You need to continue praying. Pray forever, that's right. Keep praying until you until I tell you not to pray anymore. And we are going to do some mining with a journeyman smith fairy. Oh. Yep. Ah, Sister Floessa, Sister Floessa. Hold on a second. Before we go... Before we go, look at her. Isn't she just adorable? I don't know. I feel as though our, our little um, monk over here, would she be considered a monk? I don't know. I just find her so flippin' adorable. Is it just me? I love her. I feel like she's so cool. I mean, her character is really complex, and I do like that a lot about her. 
Oh, she's so cute. She's adorable. She is adorable. But anyways, guys, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.